We're about to see a basketball court and ping pong room and TVs and pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this is my dream house, my dream bedroom, my dream setup, my dream skybox, my dream workout room. So it's what would have made you know my dream as a kid come true. And so I did it for my kids, but did it for me too. That's where we're sitting right now, there was a house. And it was an elderly couple and uh, they were moving out. And uh, the idea clicked and we went from there. So, <laughs> A little place where you can eat and watch, play, watch a projector, TV. Possibility came up when, when the, the neighbors were selling their house. And I thought, hmm, has anybody ever torn down a perfectly good house and made a huge addition to their home? I, I went back to the office and thought, i got to talk him out of this because it doesn't make any financial sense. And a lot of people said, you know, hey, why don't you just go out and buy some land, go out in a rich neighborhood and buy some land and, you know, do it out there. And this is my home. This is my home. You know, I've been here for 10 years. This is my neighborhood, my friends, my family, my house. So let's just do it here. And this is the computer room with a Nerf goal that I like to dunk on. There. We're going up to the, what we call a ping pong room. It has a ping pong table, flat screen TV, an Xbox, PS3, a popcorn machine, a little thing, and a Galaga machine. Deadly on this? Mmm, not really. Sitting Ryan, good. Post up. There you go. It's it's like a new world opens up. You know, you can't tell what you're looking at from the outside. But I did that, I told Scott that, I said, I don't want my neighbors to, it to be an eyesore. I don't want them to think it's a recreational facility. I want it to look like a resident's home. I want it to be nice. I want it to raise the property value of the adjacent houses, not lower them. And here is my bedroom. When the gym was finally complete and you guys could play and it was all finished, what was, what was your thoughts? Yes, awesome. <laughs> Time to have a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So you play every day, I guess. Yeah. And do your friends all come over here and play Yeah. As well? They try to sneak in and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing you're always hanging out at your house. <laughs> yes, always. Likely you're going to get it and you're not going to be you're not going to be in a position where you can make a layup because there's going to be a lot of defense. Other room that's not as good as mine. My brother's. Here is the bathroom with a urinal. And then the double showers. Here's what we call the locker room, because it has the lockers, the gator machine, the water fountain. Are you uh, at the gatoring machine all the time? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Does it cost money? Nope, free. Here's what hit the, or the weights. Yeah. <laughs> you hit the weights, weights quite often? Yes, I do. You get right here, you, you jump, you do that 40 times. It might sound easy, but it's not. <laughs> I want my three-point shooter spotting up at 45, and I want you looking at it. One of the first things that I contemplated as I was going through this, am, am I, am I going to use this as an investment of net worth, or am I going to build a home that I want to live in that's my dream home? Um, and I made the decision that knowing that I probably wouldn't be able to sell it, if I did sell it, it would be for a lot less than I paid for it. Realizing, I went into it realizing that. And you're by yourself and shoot? Absolutely, all the time. Mm -hmm. You bet. You bet. 
It's awesome. It is. It's awesome. By myself, nobody else. You know. So if Matt comes and drives, you can help. Okay? All right?